Hey, it's Ashley from Westcott, and today I'm going to be showing you some great options when it comes to portable light modifiers. Lighting is an essential aspect of photography that can make or break an image, and having the right lighting equipment, especially lighting modifiers, is the key to getting the perfect shot. But what if you're a photographer who's always on the go and needs to travel with your equipment? Well, that's where portable lighting modifiers come in. They are compact, easy to carry, and provide excellent results. And in this video, I'll be covering three great portable lighting modifiers that won't break the bank. But first, let me provide some details about the shoot and the lighting setups that I used. The shoot was happening during winter and having gear that was both portable and quick to set up was key to the shoot. My model had multiple looks that she wanted me to shoot throughout the day and due to the cold weather I had to work quickly to prevent my model from getting too cold while still capturing all the required looks for the shoot. I chose to use an FG200 as my primary light source. This strobe is an ideal choice for portable lighting thanks to its compact and lightweight design. Weighing less than 2 pounds it allows me to travel light and move quickly without sacrificing the power. So now that I explained what lighting I'm going to be using for the whole entire shoot, let's get into the lighting modifiers. The first modifier I want to talk about is the Apollo Orb. When shooting on location, the Apollo Orb light modifier is a fantastic choice. Since it's built on an umbrella type frame, it sets up in seconds, which makes it easy to mount since it uses your light's built in umbrella receptacle. At 43 inches, it creates a nice soft light source that claps down for easy travel. The light sits inside the modifier, so you actually have two ways you can mount your light for different lighting patterns. With your light mounted facing forward, you can get a very hard light source with a very noticeable hot spot. With the light facing backwards, you're gonna get a soft, even light source, which is gonna be a nice soft light, which is ideal for natural looking photos. During the shoot, I chose to use the Apollo Orb because of where we were shooting. We were in a covered parking garage with a lot of ambient light, but not a lot of direct sun. And I wanted to light my subject but still have a natural looking photo. To do this, I knew I needed a larger light source, so I went with the Apollo Orb. In this location, I didn't have to deal with wind, so a larger light source wasn't a problem. The next modifier I want to show you is the Halo. Like the Apollo Orb, it's an umbrella based modifier, but with a 45 inch rounded front and makes it omnidirectional. Even though I'm using it indoors for the shoot, it also works great outdoors. The back of the modifier is lined with a silver material, so you're actually going to get a bit more output than you would with a traditional umbrella. Plus, since the shape of the modifier, it helps with reducing the chances of it catching the wind and blowing over. For this look, we took a break from the cold and shot indoors. Since we were shooting inside, I chose to use the Halo. As mentioned before, since the front of the modifier is rounded like a traditional umbrella, it has a wider spread of light, which when working inside not only lights my subject, but also gives a nice gradation of light to the rest of the room, as well as adding to the ambient light. Finally, we have the Rapid Box Switch Octa S. This modifier is a quick open soft box, which makes it different from the other two modifiers I mentioned. It opens in seconds, making it great for shoots where you have to move quickly. The Rapid Box Switch line has soft boxes in multiple different sizes and shapes, making them great for both in studio and on location shoots. The Octa S is the smallest, which makes it ideal for packing light. Since it's only 26 inches, it makes it easy to carry. During the shoot, I chose to use the Octa S in locations where there was a lot of wind. Since it's a smaller size modifier, it's less likely to blow over the wind, but also you won't get the same light spread as you would with the larger light source. But with the added diffusion to the front of the modifier, you still produce a soft light source when close to your subject. A quick tip when working outdoors in the wind, you want to make sure you weigh down your light stands and if possible, have somebody nearby to make sure the light doesn't fall over. 
So for this shoot, I forgot to pack my weight bag. So I simply just used my camera bag and had my assistant hold the light stand just to make sure nothing got damaged or anyone got injured. Portable lighting modifiers are essential tools for photographers who work on the go or travel frequently. Each with their different shapes and size, each one has its own specific purpose. And when you choose the right modifier, you can shape and control that lighting, creating stunning photos that stand out from the rest. Personally, I love using the Okta S due to its portability and quick open design. But let me know in the comments below which of these setups you like the best. And as always, thank you for watching.